What's up, everybody? It's day 360, and I'm out here sitting outside, enjoying the sun. Is everybody happy that the sun is back out finally? We had like, I don't know, three months of rain, it seemed like. I was telling Kelly, we're probably living in like Seattle or Washington, somewhere up there where it just rains all the time. And come to find out, it rains more here than it does up there. I guess it's just more gloomy up there. I think that the most rain is somewhere in Hawaii. One of the islands in Hawaii gets like 14,000 inches of rain, 1,400 inches of rain a, day, a week, a year. But we're probably up to about 60 inches and the average is about 67 inches for around here. So we're over average. But I think for the next like week and a half, it's supposed to be just sunny, hot, and hot, and hot. That's all you get. Sunny, hot, hot, hot. So hopefully our pool and everything will be fixed. But today we're going to talk about the 15-year mortgage percentage. The rates of the mortgage industry have gone down a little bit in the 15-year and the 30-year. And to find out that the 15-year mortgage has hit an all-time record low of 2.12%. So we're going to talk a little bit more about there, that. So the 30-year went down one-tenth of a point, one-tenth one of a percentage point. The One of the reasons why the, it's all going down is because of the fact that the treasury, yield, treasury yields have decreased, and so mortgage rates have followed suit. And if you watch the treasury yields, most likely if they go up, the rates are going to go up, and if they go down, the rates are going to go down. So one thing to look at if you're looking at mortgage rates and you're trying to time the market on when you should actually get a loan. And a lot of, most people can't afford a... A 15 year loan, but if you can, it is a low interest rate and you're gonna actually save money on your um, on your mortgage, especially over 15 years compared to 30 years. And if you kind of do a double payment, you know, all sorts of different tricks that you can do to pay down your debt and your payments to make it go a little bit smoother and not have to pay as much interest and just basically paying the bank salaries that they get to do. Uh, July 22nd is when they hit an all-time low. Freddie Mac did the survey. But right now, we're going to talk about 30-year fixed average rate is 2.78%. Um, average 0.7 down from 2.88 last week and 3.01 a year ago. So we're in, in a good spot still. It's still really, really low rates. And, I mean, as long as you find a house, not I mean, it's not you can find a house. It's not like super, super hard to find a house. But it is hard to find a house, but it's not super hard. But if you can find a house and you can actually get the lock in these rates, I mean, it's a it's an amazing value right now compared to five percent, four percent a few years ago. And um, so the all time the all time low of a thirty year fixed mortgage rate is two point six five percent in the week ending January seventh, twenty twenty one. So it was still this year. But it's back in January, so it's gone two uh, two point six five to two point seven eight. So we're already reaching back back almost to record lows. So don't be scared to go out there and get the mortgage. If you were thinking about buying a house, do it now. Um, the fifteen year rate average for right now is the record low of two point one two percent. Average set point seven uh, point lower than two point two two percent last week, down from two point five four percent a year ago. So that's a kind of a big difference. It's almost, I mean, quarter of a point. That's kind of huge. I mean, a little bit more than what, 0.4 over over a quarter of a point. So 0.4 of a point. That's pretty huge in the industry, especially when you're going over a 15-year loan, even a 30-year uh, record from dating dating back all the way from 1991. The record was 2.16 January 7th, 2021, and we're at 2.12. So it's a little bit lower. Nothing super, super crazy. And the 30-year mortgages, they started tracking back in 1971 is when they started doing those. Um, these quotes are all from Freddie Mac, Freddie Mac surveys, conventional conforming home purchases from borrowers who put down 20% and have excellent credit. Borrowers taking out a bigger loan and having uh, lower credit ratings and putting down smaller down payments the rates are going to be different. You're not going to qualify for the best of the best if you don't have the best of the best. Okay, so don't think that you're going to put down 3.5% and you're going to qualify for 2.12% on a loan. It's just not going to happen. Or the 2.78% on a loan. It's not going to happen. you got to put some money down. So if you're selling a house and you're going to buy another house, at least put 20% down of your profits down on the next house so that way you can enjoy these low rates. And... Other than that, that's what I got for today. I'm going to get back to work. I'm 
dedicated today to working on the house outside. <clears throat> we uh, put down a bunch of rock. I shoveled two point some tons of rock today. Um, I'm sure my lower back's gonna feel it later, later on tonight or tomorrow. But we'll see. And uh, I'm gonna lay down some sod, but we still need a lot more sod for the yard. But go out there and make somebody smile and have a wonderful day. Thanks a lot. Bye.